Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome back to Intro to DJing. And what I want to do in this video is talk about what is often known as key lock or master tempo, depending on what uh, DJ program you're using. This is a really important thing to understand because it can make your track or make your mixing sound a lot better, or maybe it'll make it sound bad if it's off. Um, so hopefully you'll get an idea for the way this works. Now, with master tempo or key lock off, this is what happens when you actually adjust the tempo of the track. So this is my track. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for my own track, but let me go ahead and play it. So as you can hear, as I'm adjusting the tempo, I'm actually increasing and decreasing the pitch. And this has to do with the fact that as I decrease the tempo, what I'm doing is I'm taking my waveform and stretching it out. So I'm increasing the wavelength or decreasing the frequency, which is why the pitch is going down. And similarly, as I you know, push the tempo fader in the opposite direction, I am increasing the, the tempo. So decreasing the wavelength or increasing the frequency. So what key lock or master tempo allows you to do is basically adjust the tempo without the pitch actually changing, which is really nice. When you're mixing, you don't have to worry about the fact that, oh, my track's in A minor, but when I'm mixing it in at two BPM faster, it's actually in a slightly different key. And it may not be in a normal musical key at all because it may be halfway between two different keys. So now if I play this part again, much more natural sounding. Of course, the pitch is not moving. So this is what it looks like here in Serato DJ. To turn on key lock, you just hit the key button. This is master, master tempo slash key lock here in Serato. Here in Virtual DJ, you will see this under the master tempo button. So often what you can do is you may have to go to the pro view and you can then see MT. This is master tempo, so without it. Turning it on. Works as you would expect. Here in Tractor, what you do is you basically click this button when it shows an empty note. It is off and when you click it, it'll actually show the key of the track. Here in Record box, you can see this button is the MT button for master tempo. If I have it off. And of course, with it on. Pretty nice. So once again, most DJ, DJ controllers, especially beginner DJ controllers, I should say, don't even have the option on it because they assume you're going to be wanting to keep it on. I don't have any reason to ever turn it off. I can't think of a single time I've ever turned this thing off. It's just one of those nice advances with modern technology. Of course, you know, when you're playing records on turntables, you didn't have that luxury. So it actually would increase or decrease the pitch. But now with technology, of course, we often just keep that key locked so we can make sure we're doing harmonic mixing, whether or not we're exactly at the original BPM of the track. So hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.